Hi, I'm Danny with BuyTwoWayRadios.com. In an earlier video, we talked about the VR-N7500 smartphone controlled radio from VGC. Now, we're going to go a little more in depth and show you the Android app. We'll download and install the app, sync it with the radio, and take a look at the most common features. Let's dive in. All right, first we need to install um, the app from VGC. And in order to do that, we have uh, the fast operate manual that was included with the radio. Um, it has a QR code. So I'm gonna open my camera and scan this QR code and click the link. which takes me to VGC's website uh, with a download link. What this is going to do is download an APK file, which uh, literally is the app. It's downloading. Okay, the file has completed downloading, so now I need to open the app and install it on the phone. Um, since um, this is a um, manual app install instead of something where uh, we're doing it through the Play Store, I have to go into a file manager app like Astro. Um, this is a third-party app that I use. Um, and inside this file manager, I'll have the option to install the app using um, the Android package manager. So let's open Astro. I'll navigate to my downloads folder. And here is the app that I downloaded. One other step we need to do is to rename this. I'm not sure if all file managers are going to be like this, but in Astro, uh, I have to have the extension be APK, not zip. So uh, now that I've renamed it, the icon changes, and I should be able to tap this and choose to install it with the package manager. Do you want to install this application? Yes. Installing. Okay, now the install is complete and I can click open to launch the app. Um, I do want to allow uh, this HT app to use our location. And um, I'll allow it to use photos and access the microphone. This is the view when you first launch the app when you have no device connected. You see here I have options to bind a new device. That's what I would use to connect to a radio, but I can also join a network channel that lets me connect to uh, a network feed, sort of where I'm using the um, LTE signal from my cell phone to communicate. I can also change APRS settings. Um, I can view the Morse code decoder and a few other things here. But we're going to start by adding a radio. So I'm going to put my radio in pairing mode by clicking the power button twice. It automatically detected that the radio was here. So I'm going to click yes. I want to add it. So we didn't even need to go through the bind new device step. Okay, pair and connect and pair. All right, now we're looking at the main screen for the VRN7500. What I have here are the 16 um, channels in the currently selected zone or uh, region. And um, to change the channels, all I have to do is click the channel that I want to change to. By default, if the channel doesn't have a name, the app shows the frequency that the channel communicates on. I can edit. Uh, this channel, however, and I can give it a name, VTWR, uh, and save it. And now the channel appears with a name instead of the frequency. There's a few other things I'd like to show you in the edit channel screen. Um, if you click on more here, you get the um, full detail, which allows you to specify an RX and a TX frequency in case you wanted to do a, a repeater. You can also specify RX and TX, CTCSS and DCS codes. Transmit power, bandwidth. You can disable transmit, talk around. 
allow scanning of this channel, pre-de-emphasis, I'm not sure what that does. Um, also on the main screen here, you can, you have shortcuts that allow you to change the power level, you go from high, medium to low power, can also enable dual channel scan or um, single channel scanning. Um, I can activate an FM radio, talk around directly from here. These are functions that you might want to change frequently. So if you have uh, the phone set up in your car, it's, it's just easy access without having to go in and edit the channel directly. Um, the volume is also adjustable here. And um, you can also click the gear icon in the upper right hand corner to go and view the radio settings. Um, in the device setting screen, we see a volume and a, a squelch level. Device speaker, this turns the speaker on or off for the mobile phone that you're connected to. So choosing on here would allow any transmissions that I receive to play through the phone speaker as well as um, the hand mic. I could also use this wired microphone speaker setting to disable um, sound from um, coming from the hand mic altogether if I only wanted the sound to come from my phone. General settings, we can briefly go through these. Uh, notice there, uh, there's a reset and a factory data reset option at the bottom. Other than that, it's uh, the standard things you would see in, in a radio, the mic gain, wireless mic gain, headphone mode. Connection management allows you to turn scan on and oh, that's uh, other Bluetooth devices in the area. This is the scan mode screen. Channels and regions. Um, we mentioned in a previous video that this radio supports a uh, large and unknown number of regions or zones. Um, VGC calls them regions. So um, adding a new region here, um, I meant to say test, but it doesn't matter. For 40.0. Okay, I now have a channel in new region and it's now part of the radio. So I can go back to the main screen and you see I'm now on, all my other channels are gone, I'm now on the new region. I can switch by clicking uh, that icon there back to my original region and I see my original 16 channels. Um, outside of settings, let's take a look at the map screen briefly. Um, all right, this is the map screen, which is the main, um, main screen uh, on the app. In the upper left hand corner, you have a couple of icons that look like messages perhaps and people. You can click those to go into another screen where you see a message list. Um, clicking this um, three dots here gives you the option to save voice history. So you can save all of your transmissions and they will appear in this screen. Um, also, um, members I believe will show other people that you've communicated with or other uh, locations that you've communicated to. Um, back to the, the main map screen. The uh, green circle on the bottom with the mic inside allows you to transmit directly from your phone. So holding that in and talking will send whatever you say to the radio, which will be transmitted out over the airwaves. Um, also uh, on the right hand side here, there's a, a few icons such as marking a favorite location, um, zooming in on your current location, can change your map view, map satellite terrain. Um, this is uh, showing icons for where you've received transmissions from. So you get uh, 
to choose how far back you want to go. And track manager, I'm not sure uh, how that works. Um, let's go back to the main screen. The, one other thing I want to touch on are updates. If you launch this app, the first thing it's going to do is check to make sure you're running the latest version app and the latest version firmware for the radio. So don't be surprised if you open the app and it asks you to update the app or ask you to update the firmware, but um, it's all uh, automated. You just click yes and directly from the app, it can update the radio's firmware or update the app version. Works, it works great. Um, so that's a basic uh, overview of the Android version of the app. Um, I uh, hope that was helpful for everyone. And that's the Android app. If you have an iPhone or iPad, check back soon for the iOS version of this video. To learn more about the VR N7500 or to purchase one, please visit our website at buy2wayradios.com. I'm Danny, and thanks for watching.